All right, we're back doing some little bit of a uh, process stuff for you, and uh, let's get to it. As usual, we got the the really rough scribbles. I turned it to blue here so you guys can kind of see that. And uh, in the next stage, I just want to talk about Krenz Kushart. So if you're not familiar with Krenz, uh, check out his Patreon account. Um, lots of really cool stuff here. If any of this looks interesting, check it out. So back to this. Um, so we lowered the opacity down, and this is where I just wanted to bring Krenz up because his construction is sort of what I've been using lately. I find it just to be a very uh, methodical and uh, just a really good way to figure out structure in complex uh, perspectives. I should also note, not just necessarily complex, but just perspectives in general. So here i got another layer uh, where we're adding the arm. And uh, the next one here, just some more of its features. And again, just doing the exact same thing. We're going to lower the opacity and start breaking it down. And really from here, you could do whatever you wanted. You could go straight to inks or you could do the, the flat three pixel brush, uh, the Freddy method, I call it, that was talked about in the DC that's it for now. If you want to see the finished piece, uh, you have to be one of my Patreons. Head on over to patreon.com. You'll get exclusive content to these little Snapchats as well. So thanks for watching. And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please leave a comment below. Uh, let me know what kind of uh, Snapchats you guys would be interested in in the future. Thanks. All right, so let's get into this here. Uh, what this is, is as you can normally tell, just our three pixel line. Uh, I didn't record this. I just recorded a, a quick, you know, quick recording of the actual digital inks. I think you guys will get a little bit more of a kick out of that. So again, here's a line art. And what we're going to do is I have a separate layer here that's in red. And I'm going to click that right now. And what this does is it's just a very quick um, shadow placement. Like, it's pretty gross. It's just a, a very quick idea of where we can throw our inks. Because uh, in, in this for this project, anyway, there's a lot of um, gritty contrast. Uh, so I want to make sure that I have an understanding where my light is going to be. Uh, and it just saves, you know, brain power uh, down the road as we work throughout the piece. And then I lower the opacity there, like you saw, and we got a new layer ready to go. And um, the video is going to speed up pretty quick here once we get into the actual inking process itself. Uh, so it might get a little weird looking, but uh, hopefully you guys can see what's going on. And, and, and right now, I just also wanted to just point out, uh, and I wanted to say, you know, like, thank you guys for being uh, supporters here on Patreon. So what this is here is uh, somebody, I was having a little chit chat with somebody over Facebook, and uh, I don't know how many of you guys use Snapchat, or even if you know what the hell it is. Uh, I'm, what, 33 years old, Snapchat really doesn't make much sense to me uh, until I started using it, and what I get a kick out of it is just, a, it's a very simple way to make, like, real quick and dirty videos, um, art related videos, process and stuff, which uh, as you can see if you follow me here on YouTube, uh, you know, all of that stuff is cool. I, I'm posting the Snapchats up there as well, uh, but what I wanted to add is not just re-upload it here to Patreon because that really doesn't make much sense. I wanted to add a little bit extra. So what you guys are seeing here, this actual quick process you know, stuff here. Uh, this is just content for you guys, okay? Uh, and I, it, again, it's my little way, of, I guess, of saying thank you. Um, it's just more content that I suppose I could throw your way for those of you that are interested in watching this. So expect to see more of this kind of stuff as well uh, going forward. Uh, it was really fun to do. It was pretty simple. I mean, this project here that I'm doing is, you know, it's very simple. Uh, but I'm going to see what I can do to maybe spice it up or just, you know, I think this is kind of fun. I, I'm kind of enjoying the people that I'm following on Snapchat anyway. Uh, and then seeing the re uploaded versions on YouTube. YouTube, but just seeing how people are, uh, you know, talking about just stuff on the fly. It's, it is a little unique. It's a little different. I don't know if there's really a point to Snapchat, but if you're interested, check it out. Um, so let's talk about what, what the hell we're doing. So I've just absolutely fallen in love with this brush. I've been talking about it. Oh my gosh, you guys, uh, probably for the last two, maybe three weeks now, noodling in Manga Studio, trying to find something that's, uh, got a little bit of an organic look to it. And I don't even know really what brush this is. I'm going to make a post online asking people that ink with legit tools. You know, like, is this a brush? Is this a pen? Um, or is it just a digital makeup between the two? And, and I'm kind of stuck with it. The reason being is I'd love to be able to use this in my traditional work as well. And I know it's not appropriate for every project because it is. I am being pretty loose and sloppy and gritty. But if you could see all, like, even in the groin area and, and the pull of the shirt, uh, like, it didn't really take much, much work to 
put that in there and uh, I just love the shape of it it's got a triangle point to it and it just gives us like uh, again I don't want to keep saying gritty and organic but uh, it definitely has a different pop and a different feel to it than uh, what I've been normally getting and this is actually what I've been uh, inking Jessup King with as well so the video is almost done these aren't too too long just supposed to be little short clips uh, and what I ended up doing here is I wanted to try to figure out some sort of like impact for this uh, action that this character is doing and I ended up going with a starburst and I didn't even know you could edit the points until you'll see me using it and that actually changed quite a bit I didn't know the actual flexibility let's say of uh, Meng Studio that was presented there but it was sweet so anyway thank you guys um, we're gonna have more of these um, sporadic as they come maybe one or two maybe more a month uh, and please let me know in the comments below of uh, snapchats you guys would like to see and all that good stuff and uh, again from the bottom of my heart I want to thank each and every one of you for uh, all of your uh, support here on patreon and everywhere else so thank you and uh, we'll talk soon bye bye